Have you guys been told that the best way for you to learn is from other people's mistakes? Surprisingly, we're making lots of decisions from other people's experience, such as you reviewing a restaurant on the internet. Think about the days when you first started your research. What was one of the first things you did? A literature review, right? Why? Because you're looking for patterns for, to follow, or perhaps mistakes to avoid. Those seem like a very logical process, but in order for our brain to make decisions, we need first an objective, and second, we need to build connections between you and other people. Cities are exactly like that. They are unique, but they also share common attributes. And of course, cities can learn from each other. Urbanization today is not just a local event. It is a highly connected global phenomenon. While many people have been realizing the scale of urbanization is far greater than the past, but when it comes down to urban management, our cities are still making decisions locally. Why? Why we cannot use the logic that we use every single day to manage our cities? Well, there are a few challenges. First, some common attributes that people are using, such as GDP and population, they often come in tabular format, which do not translate well to urban planners, who often think more spatially. And second, in order for cities to compare and then learn from each other, they need a common measurement tool, like a common language they can understand each other. But my, my PhD thesis targets exactly on those two points by using satellite observations. I'm using images from both the day and the night. During the day, I map vegetation changes in the city. But human activities seem a little bit invisible during the day. But if you look at the Earth at night, you will be surprised by how much you can see. Highways, street lights, cluster of buildings, airports, all those man-made structures start showing up. By combining those daytime and nighttime images, I made spatial and temporal metrics to map urbanization. And those metrics can be understood by all the cities. By incorporating over 10,000 images, of 25 cities over 20 plus years. I am hoping that one day, our city can not only learn from the past, but also learn from each other. Just like you trying to review a restaurant on your phone. Thank you. <laughs>